Welcome back, my little crowbotlet friends. You know that a whole bunch of crows is called a murder. I don't know why they did it that way, but that's the way they did it. And we sort of just left it that way. So You'll notice that I'm not looking at any robots. I'm in the squad screen. Because <clears throat> there's something I want to show you in here that exists for all Samsung users. Um, I'm sure it's like the, the most recent update that added this or one of the more recent ones. But if you go in your typing field here, and you see these little three dots over here right above your delete key, right next to the little search arrow, tap on those three dots, and this drops down. You can do some interesting things in here. You can change your keyboard size. Um, you can get to your clipboard and see all the things that have been on your clipboard recently so that you can pick things that you might have, you know, pasted four times ago. It's still there on the clipboard, and you can easily grab it from there. But the one I want to show you is this one called Translate. When you add translate, go in here and tap on Google and then continue. And now I can go from English to English or I have a great need to do Spanish quite a bit. Now you would think that Spanish would be under E for Espanole. And they've got Esperanto there, which I wish... I mean, that's been around for a long time. The whole idea was to teach the whole planet how to speak Esperanto. And then we could all communicate. But the powers that be don't really want us speaking. But they put it under Spanish, but it's Espanol. It should have been under E, you stupid punks. Anyway, English to Spanish. And I'm guessing once you add one there, it, it pops up to the top as a recent. So they become easy to get to. But now if I type... And you got to make sure you spell everything right, or it's not going to translate properly. Make sure you don't have any little periods in there where you need to have your little spaces. And it looks good to me. And then, right down here where it says where your normal return key would be, it's got the little A with the blue thing there between the backspace and the up arrow. If you tap that, it puts it in there for you, and then you tap on OK, and voila. Now, if you speak Spanish, and you reply to me in Spanish, I don't quite know how to, you know, how to translate that back. So, you're going to have to go in and set your keyboard to translate it from Spanish to English so that you can then talk to me. But using this, you can actually talk to anybody given any language, and they can talk back to you. So, I, I don't, I never knew about that feature until, like, just recently. So, I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you because it will make... It will give the ability in Squad to speak to people if you know what language they're speaking. You can just change it in your keyboard, and your keyboard will translate it through Google, and then what you send is a translated version of it. So that's all I had for you. We'll make this a nice short one after that really long one. Go watch that last 30-minute video. At the end of it, there's a spot where I, I jump, and another bison jumps. We pass each other midair. It's just freaking epic. <laughs> I haven't slowed down the video because it was beautiful. Anyway, I'll catch you all at the beacon. Robot out.